white jackets, which is something that I've been really excited to talk with you about. And we had a long co phone conversation a couple months ago about it. Um, and one of the reasons why we're having this conversation now to celebrate the women who were a part of this memorable group. So can you share a little bit about the history of the White Jackets and how a person became a part of this group? Sure. Well, Marge Crisp is, was a pioneer at Wake Forest as being actually the first women, woman who was on the faculty full time. So she kind of pioneered starting from the 40s, all the, the, what we see about women's athletics. And she later brought in Dot Casey, a friend of hers, and both of them together developed a, a course for PE majors for women. And that kind of developed into what they decided to do was to recognize the athletic achievement of various people, especially those in the intervals, because we had no varsity. So they devised some sort of a system where they could provide points for participation and how many points you won when you participated and all that sort of thing. So through all that calculation, those who had the most points at the end of the year were awarded a white jacket. Well, we feel like we were pioneers. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> and and it, it's so rewarding to see what has been accomplished since Title IX was introduced. Of course, now when Title IX became law, it just didn't automatically, suddenly everything was accepted by the school because it took years to really implement incorporating good uh, sports here, or, or athletics, I should say, here at Wake Forest. It was slowly incorporated, but uh, it just means so much that we now we're seeing the escalation, the metamorphosis, so to speak, of from where we were to what's happened now and then into ACC champions and NCAA champions. It's very rewarding. I'm gonna transition us a little bit. You briefly mentioned Diane Daly, Dodd Casey, Marge Crisp. Could you talk a little bit more about these women that you grew up with at Wake Forest? Diane Daly, I didn't know in college. Mm. I only met her when I came back. Yes, there. that's right. But uh, Crisp and Dot were, became very good friends. I really enjoyed knowing them. They were so, in, so impactful in helping women develop, not just as students, but to really get involved and to study well and be, become leaders. In the, in the institution. We, when you look back at the time, the women at Wake Forest in the 50s were less than 10% of the population of the enrollees. So it, it was a big impact for them to be facing women who, who were stepping out of their zone, so to speak, to enter a, a man's college. We organized a Women's Athletic Association and the philosophy at that time was that uh, it is unladylike for women to play athletics. I did not. I never felt intimidated that we are part of Wake Forest. We didn't want to hinder her, the men's program in any way. We wanted to build a good women's program. I wanted to ask where you would like to see us go next. Win more championships. <laughs> I love that answer. I love that answer. <laughs> Well, and whatever it takes to, uh, to support that financially, I think it's important for the donors to realize it doesn't come cheaply. And it stems from the fact that we've got to get constantly more and more donors involved. And that stems from also just the students themselves, the athletes themselves. They need to, you know, be forward with their, their activities and their donations and their contributions, because without their support, we don't, we're not going to pro continue to progress. So I, I just think it's important to not stay stagnant and not hope that somebody else is going to be paying for it, because everybody's contribution works and helps sufficiently. I love that. Well, 
student athlete to student athlete, I thank you for sitting down with me today and just really sharing your story because it's really inspiring and um, I know it will inspire a lot of people who will watch this conversation in the future. So thank you so much, Dr. Guth. Sure, my pleasure.